Hey YouTube, today I'm here with my honest opinion that whether this phone really worth buying or not. So make sure you stick with the video and let's get started. My answer is definitely no and there are some certain reasons behind that. First of all, the performance of this phone is quite unsatisfactory. If you are expecting high performance from a mid-range phone, then definitely you are not going to have that. But still, there are some devices that provide really good performance in this price range. For example, Huawei Honor 7X. Samsung Galaxy Grand Prime Pro on the basis of performance is below average. Secondly, they have used Super AMOLED display type, which is good. But they have provided us with a display resolution of only 540p. No, 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 no. It must be a joke. What? I'm going to pay $200 for just 540p panel. This is ridiculous, but unfortunately, I have paid. You will notice that when you start watching high resolution videos, they will not look that much detailed on 540p panel. Thirdly, there is no always, always on feature which is almost included in every phone that has Super AMOLED display type released by Samsung. This is a bit disappointing too. Basic sensors are only used in this phone. Only accelerometer and proximity sensors you find in this phone and this is again ridiculous. At least you should give a bit more sensors but only two sensors are included in this phone. And now coming to the camera and design. Uh, the camera and design wise this phone is okay the best thing about this phone is its interface it's beautiful in short this phone is for those uncles that do not need performance but the person which needs performance this phone is definitely not for him thanks for watching this was the video and hopefully next video will be coming out pretty soon